My earliest positive memories were definitely about snow, not having to go to school, sledding. So I started the company in 77. I remember I went out with 38 snowboards and I came home with 40 because one dealer said, I don't want this crap. He said his name was Jake and he made snowboards. I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> he had this spark. He was so damn determined. Once I just focused all of my energy and my love and my time into making it a sport, that's when everything sort of started to work. Snowboarding made this transition from something that people were afraid of to something that people embraced. 33 million people watched Sean White win the Olympic gold medal. Snowboarding just exploded. Where would my life be today without Jake? He was always there to support and back me. He wanted to get 100 days every year. How am I going to say slow down? Jake could look at us and say, you guys need to speed up. He's really the badass grandpa of snowboarding. Snowboarding was that light that drove him. Surfing on snow. From the very beginning, I was passionate about it. In the back of my mind, I always knew it could be a sport. 